What's up, comic fans around the world? Welcome back to my channel. It's the Asian Fina back showing you my most valuable comic book collection. So the criteria to be part of my most valuable comics is that it has to be highly sought after, worth a significant amount of money, let's say from around $40 upwards to 100 And also it's um, very popular. So, as you can see, I have three binders right here. And how I protect my comics is that I'm using these super exclusive binders. That's the quick fit uh, five inch view binder. These aren't cheap, by the way. It's like, whew, I think it's like over 20 bucks for each of these binders. And also, I'm using the BCW comic book storage binder pages the sleeves which i've reviewed in the past that's the bcw right there and also the backing boards is the bcw backing boards and the bag itself for each individual comic is the ultra pro resealable current size comic books so let's get started so each of these are back to back on most of these we're going to start out with amazing spider-man number three 238 i forgot what was so special about this hobgoblin but it's definitely Highly high value right there, and as we all know, you can't have Spider-Man without this comic. It has to be in the next collection, number two fifty-two. This is uh, one of his first black costumes in Amazing Spider-Man and Amazing Spider-Man number two eighty-nine. I think um, Ned Leeds dies or something like that. And I got doubles of that. We're gonna skip to the Amazing Spider-Man two ninety. I think that's when uh, Peter Parker proposes to Mary Jane or something like that. And here we go, Amiga Spider-Man number 344, that's the uh, first cameo of Cletus Cassidy, who turns out to be Carnage. And of course, number 361. And Avengers number 195, that's the first appearance of, uh, is it, I don't want to say Taskmaster, I forgot what it was, but you guys have to look it up. And Avengers number 196, that's the first appearance of Taskmaster. You got Giant Size Avengers number four. I forgot what's special about this one. It's gotta be something to do with the Vision of Scholar Witch. Oh, I think that, that's when they get married or something like that. We're gonna skip to Avengers number and you number 10. Um, that's the very first appearance of Rogue, I think. And I got doubles of that. And check this out Batman number 400, a special anniversary issue. That's also a must have. And check this out. I was very fortunate to get this from Half Price Books. Um, this is the, I think it's the third printing of Batman number one. Even the third printing is like worth like 90 bucks or something like that. I forgot. Or maybe 40 bucks. Because the regular number one is like 90 or 100. And check it out. Batman number 16. And it's signed by, is that Greg Capulo? Or is it Scott Snyder? Probably Scott Snyder. That's number 16, and then we get to number 17, also signed by Scott Snyder, and the uh, Golden Ink, and Brave and the Bold, get starring Batman versus Eclipso, I think that's the first appearance of Eclipso. Check out the cover price, it's 12 cents, number 64. By the way, most of these comics, I would say I got from uh, Craigslist comic book haul, with few from uh, Half Price Books, and a few from my own private collection when I collected as a kid. Captain America, number 360, the first appearance of... Uh, uh, oh crap, what's his name? Bloodstone. Not Bloodstone. Oh, I forgot his name. You guys know what I'm talking about. And this Captain America issue number one. Out of Time. And Daredevil with Elektra number 168. I got doubles of that. I think it's the first appearance of Elektra. You got Daredevil 169 with Bullseye. Daredevil number 174. Quite a few dirt that was in here in uh, 175 continuation of the Electra saga. That's gonna be huge, especially with the um, movie series coming out, starring Punisher and Electra. And you got Daredevil in 176, 181 with Bozai again and Electra. We skip to uh, Tomb of Dracula number four. Check out the cover price 20 cents. Number six, number seven. And number nine. And check it out. This is the oldest Fantastic Four I own. Issue number 30. I believe it's the first appearance of 
El Di Diablo. Fantastic Four number 121 with one of the early appearances of Silver Surfer. Fantastic Four number 143. Doctor Doom number 155. Check it out. Nope, that's not the regular Flash. It's the reverse Flash, I think. Doctor Zoom number 197. And this one, um, the special one about this is, I believe it's the supposed to be the very first pair of Dr. Zoom. It shows in the comic price guide to be only like five bucks, but if you go on eBay, this is going for like 30 bucks. G.I. Joe number one from Marvel Comics. To get you in Club Hope number 272, that's the very first appearance of Wayne Dago. And this is one I found a couple of weeks ago, actually it was in the last week. The Incredible Hope number 92, first print, that's the uh, Planet Hulk, World War Hulk saga going on. And I was lucky to get this from a comic haul, Craigslist, second printing. Inhumans number one, Iron Fist number five. And we get to Iron Man number 282, the first appearance of War Machine. Let's get to the second folder. All right, second folder starts out with the Man Bat number one from DC Comics. Marvel Team Up, 95, that's the first appearance of Mockingbird. There we go, that's a better view. The New Moon, New Moon's issue number one. Uh, and you're number two, I forgot what's so special about this one. But it's here for a reason. New Moon's number 87, first appearance of Cable. I wouldn't say Deadpool so bad, but it's not. And make sure you stay after the credit because it's something special after the Deadpool movie. That's the first print. And I got the second print right there. And you got New Moons number 98. My most valuable comic of all time. Uh, very first appearance of Deadpool. Very nice condition. I would say it's like a 9.6 if I have to grade it myself maybe. Power Man and Iron Fist number 66 with I believe the second appearance of uh, Sabretooth ever. Power Man Iron Fist number 84, I think it's the third appearance. A giant size Power Man issue number one. Luke Cage. Check it out. Another must have if you are a big Spider Man fan. Secret Wars issue number eight. Very hard to find. Very valuable indeed. Sergeant Fury and the Howling Commandos number 15. One of these older comics. Silver Surfer number five. You get to Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider Man number 864. I think it's the first appearance of Cloak and Dagger. Suicide Squad, baby. That's right. I got this from the Value Village. Issue number one, Harley Quinn cover. Issue number six, I believe it talks about the, uh, the uh, background of history of Harley Quinn. And number seven, Equally valuable and a must have Superman, Death of Superman number 75. And check this out Superman still number 17, the first, very first cameo of uh, Doomsday. Thor number 131, I think my oldest Thor, 202. Right there, you got Thor number 337, first pairs of Beta Ray Bill, doubles of that. One I got for Combo Hall, one I got from Half Price Books. Thor number 344, first appearance of uh, Baldo. And Ultimate Spider-Man number one. This is a Target variant cover. And I got this for like 25 cents from Half Price Books. Pretty amazing find. Walking Dead, baby. Issue number 53, first appearance. I forgot his name, but anyway, the, him. First appearance of all of these people, I think. 61, first appearance of uh, the priest. I his name too. You got number 63, also uh, 92, you got Michonne, a regular cover, I think. Number 108, the first appearance of Jesus. Wolverine number one that I got from, uh, I got this free. Somebody was giving out free comics in Seattle area. I was lucky to get that. X-Factor number five, first cameo of Apocalypse. And of course, X-Factor number six from own private collection right here. And this one. That's right, I got doubles. This one I got from Value Village for like 49 cents or something like that. Now let's get to the third binder. Alright, the third binder is going to be all, a whole bunch of X-Men. 
Here is my oldest copy of X-Men number 11 with the furry first appearance of, uh, I forgot which character. Well, whoever he is, I think. X-Men number 100. Must have if you're a big X-Men fan. And we got number 126. Number 127. All of these are mostly courtesy of Craigslist Comic Book Hall. Number 128 right here. We got number 129, number 130 with that. First appearance of Dazzler, I believe. Number 131, we got a White Queen back then when she was evil. Number 132, Hellfire Club. Number 133, 134, Noah's the Sequence. 135 with Phoenix when she turns bad. 136, I think that's when uh, Phoenix dies or something like that. Doubles of that. Number 137. Yeah, special double size issue. Doubles of that. And number 138, that's when Cyclops leaves the team. Doubles of that. What can I say? I'm very fortunate. Number 139, first appearance of Kitty Pryor, I think. And once again, doubles of that. Number 140, window go with cover. Once again, doubles of that. You got number 141. Uh, I think that's where Wolverine leaves or something like that. Doubles. Number 142. Doubles again. 143. Doubles. Number one. What number is this? 158. Rogue, I think, joining the team or something like that. 171. Rogue again. Doubles. 201. I forgot what's the significance of that one. Number 210, 212 with a frame. That's the uh, Barry Windsor Smith art. Number one, what's that? 213, 221 with Havoc. That was with that. And number 222 with Versus Saber 2. I think I have doubles, and I just didn't have time to put it in bags. Number 244 with the first appearance of Jubilee. I actually have triples of that, but one being uh, damaged by water. And I got this one, um, number 248, signed by Chris Claremont. I remember getting this signed at the comic book store. Jim Lee cover. One with signature, autograph, one without. And 266, first appearance of Gambit. So glad I got this. And last but not least, X-Men and you're number 14, I think the first appearance of the X-Baby, something like that. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this, my most valuable comic books. Until next time, take care of yourselves and happy collecting.